Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the detect face feature of the Google Vision API. So this feature allows you to detect multiple faces with an image, as well as uh, you will identify the emotion states of uh, each person the API recognizes. And it also returns some other things like if the person is wearing like a hat or glasses, I guess the easiest way is we can uh, dig into uh, Python and to see how we can use this API. So here I have a, a predefined Python script. The only thing I did is uh, I create my client instance to allow me to uh, access different uh, API feature. And for this exercise, I'm, I'll be using these two images. So the first image we have uh, is a image of 10 faces and each person has different uh, facial expression so some people are angry some people are happy and some people are sad and so on and the second image we have a group of people that is just hanging out and we have six uh, individuals and let me close the image now let's get started so here I'm going to create my file name uh, variable and so I'm going to use the emotion.png uh, file. So I'm going to store the file name uh, to the file name variable. And next, I need, I need to provide the image path. So here I store the image under the image uh, directory. And the file name. So here I need to open the image as binary. So the open and I'll provide the image path and I'll store the, the images uh, image file oops image file so here I'll pass the binary uh, data to a content object Now we need to uh, create our image uh, object. So uh, image is equals to uh, vision dot type types dot image. And here we want to provide the content. So the content is just the binary uh, object. Now if I just uh, run uh, this code right here, so means just run this slash of code. And content is not defined. So here I made a typo. Uh, image path and image file dot re. So let me run this real quick. Oh, so here uh, this should be a uh, object, not a string. That was my mistake. Now let me try again. So if I just run this uh, set of code. Okay, and here's my image uh, object. So if I just print the image uh, object, and it's going to return everything as uh, binary. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. But anyway, uh, let me see if I can kill it. Give me one second. Okay. And, right. Okay, now let's continue. Now I want to extract the faces information from the image. So here we can use the client uh, uh, instance the face detection method and we want to provide the image object. So here let me store the, the output to a response uh, object. Oh, oops. And if I uh, print the response object, and this the the JSON output, so this is actually pretty large. Now if I just print the type response, and it's going to return as an annotate image response. It's not yet a JSON response. Now here we can so to convert that to a JSON response. So take the takes the response object, and this is a method called face annotations. 
Now if I do type face annotation and oops, so okay, uh, just uh, repeat composer container. Okay, uh, I guess that's okay. Let me do this. So the face annotation object now is contains uh, ten records. Uh, and that means uh, using the face detection method, um, Google API was able to detect 10 faces from the image that uh, I provide. And so let's just take a look at the, the information we have uh, from the first record. So here we have actually quite a lot of information. We have the bounding poly element, okay. And which is the vertices uh, that make up to the area of, of the person's face. And the FD bounding poly is the area on the vertices that make up to the person's uh, skin area. And next we have the, the landmarks. The landmarks element basically identify different uh, facial attributes like, your, uh, like the person's eyes, uh, nose, ears, and lips, and so on. And we have actually quite many uh, landmarks. So that means uh, the Vision API was able to detect or identify uh, attributes from uh, over person's face from our image we, uh, we provide. For this exercise, I'm going to extract the information I found uh, interesting. So if I scroll down, and these are the information that I found very uh, valuable uh, just in general. Like whether or not if the person is happy and if the person is sad, angry, or surprised and so on. So these are just different emotion uh, attributes. Now here we know the information. Now we have the, the list of information that is available. Now we can extract the information based on, uh, based on our need. So here, uh, let me do this. So I'm going to to provide, um, so I'm going to print faces in the first line. So here I'm going to array uh, each rack one by one uh, from from the face annotation object. So for face and face annotation, actually I'm going to make this plural. So annotations. And so here let me grab my notes. And from the face uh, object, we can directly reference the things like uh, detecting confidence value, uh, angry likelihood, and here. So uh, here I have a tuple that returns the emotion state as a string. Because when you print the, uh, let me do this face. Okay, so let me create a face um, object first. So if you referencing uh, the the constants, so here like joy, like uh, like her, and that returns as a integer, so not a string. And to convert this uh, integer as a or string description, so we need to create a list and to convert the the integer to a string. So here I'm going to name the so I'm going to create a tuple. And I send out save a little bit of memory. So the first uh, item will be unknown. And very unlikely. Unlikely. Possibly. Likely. And very likely. Oops, I got six. Oh, the, so it should be like that. Okay. So like her. Okay. Now if I just run the loop, and this is going to print uh, different emotion states and other information for each person 
the API uh, was able to detect. Now let me print the, the, the face uh, vertices. So here we have the, the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. That formats. And here I'm going to use another list comprehension. So for vertex, vertex in face uh, that bounding poly the vertices and here we can reference the x and y uh, value dot x and tx dot y so let me print the face vertices value real quick so these are the the vertices that the corner that make out to the uh the face area and lastly i'm going to uh, insert a new line now let me clear everything and if i just save the script and run it okay and i'm missing the vertices oops so i forgot yep uh, so here, uh, print face bound. The format. Here. I'm going to join uh, each corner together. That join. Okay, now let me try again. So if I save and run. Okay, now from this image, we have, remember we have 10 uh, individuals. So the first individual, second, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten okay so the google vision api was able to identify every single individual uh, now let me open photoshop let me show you how the the vertices work now let me open the emotion.png image in photoshop so here let me grab the the resolution uh first so this image is seven, uh, 761 pixel by 305 pixel. So that means if uh, I create a new Photoshop file, show me 761. So 761 and the highest is 305, I think. And if I import the image, so let me import the image real quick. Okay, and let me zoom in a little bit. Now let's go back to VS Code. So here, uh, let's pick this person. So here, let me move this side by side. So Google's identifying uh, this face is very likely to be happy. And so here we have the vertice of the X corner star from 481. So if I grab a pen, a brush, I'm going to use the brush. And so X is 481, should be right here. 81 okay so here's 482 somewhere right there oh it's not hmm. oh so i used the wrong brush 
okay 481 should be right here and and 584 so 584 let me make the brush a bit smaller so 400 uh 584 so 584 should be right here okay now here we have the x value of uh, 584 and the y value of and the y value of 108 so y value is 108 right here and the last uh, corner is 481 and the y value of 108 so 81 okay right here so if you connect all the dots together and this the, the face that the API was able to recognize and tells you that there's a very likely chance that uh, this person is happy and yeah so basically you can go to uh, uh, each uh, record one by one now let's go to the second image so here the second image is uh, people1.jpg And if I just uh, save and run, okay. And so let me open the image real quick. And from this image, we have uh, six individuals. So from the API, the API was only able to recognize uh, five individuals. And so if I remember correctly, I think it's uh, this face right here not this face uh this face the asian girl on the, from the second uh to the left the vision api was unable to recognize the face just because the face is not uh completely visible so at the end uh if you want to make sure that the vision api works correctly and you want to provide images that where all the faces are clearly visible so this is everything i'm going to cover in this video and I hope you guys found the information useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.